my name is Vicky Adams and I'm from the English community. <laughs> Can you please explain this invasion with uh, those flights in, in Soho? What's going on? Yes, Soho is a red lighted district in the centre of London. It is uh, for over 50 years, in some cases longer, there have been a number of walk up flats where a single sex worker works with a maid or a receptionist. It's notoriously been the safest place in the whole country to work because the flats are open, the local community knows of the existence of the flats. If women get into trouble, if there's any uh, aggression or violence from clients, women are able to seek help from the local community or even to call the police or call the authorities for help. So it's always been the safest place compared to the rest of the UK where there's a very high level of rape and even murder against sex workers. In Soho, there's never been a murder in any of those flats and women often uh, try very hard to be able to work there because they know that safety uh, is much improved there than in other areas. Okay. You have to go there. No, no, not yet. Okay. So, and now? Now, uh, there's been a number of police crackdowns over the years, and every single time, it's always had a terrible impact. It's thrown women out of premises, often uh, ending up working on the street. We know at least of one woman who was forced to leave a Soho flat, ended up working in Camden, another area of central London, and was killed by the uh, serial killer called the Camden Ripper. So it's always had a very big impact, but this time round, it's much more serious. They've targeted at least 20 flats, maybe even more. They came in very heavy-handed on Wednesday the 4th of December, 200 police officers. They broke down women's doors, they handcuffed women while they were searching premises, they threw women out on the street, sometimes even without their overcoat, and they arrested a number of women, particularly immigrant women, on trumped-up charges of all kinds of minor criminal offences. And in some cases they held women for over 23 hours in custody, terrified them, and bullied them into accepting cautions for those criminal offences and our objection is, is that they did this saying that they were doing it in the name of safety, saying that they were doing it in order to protect victims or to save victims from trafficking and exploitation and coercion and we're here today in court because some of the women are coming to court to give evidence to say that they are not coerced and they're not trafficked, nobody forced them into work, nobody's controlling their activities but unfortunately yesterday women again courageously came to court for another flat saying giving the same kind of evidence and the magistrate ignored them the magistrate just rubber stamped the police evidence and said that the closure should go ahead despite the evidence that women gave about their own situation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes so what are you what are generally what are the rights people doing this? Uh, well, sex, okay. yeah, sex workers it's have very good. few rights. You can't work on the street because you either you get arrested for loitering and soliciting or even worse for antisocial behaviour orders. And if you breach an antisocial behaviour order, you face up to five years in prison. You can't work together, not even with one other woman from premises, and that's how most women would prefer to work. They prefer to work with a friend, it's much safer, it's less boring, it means you can uh, share overheads. And the amount of prostitution in this country has gone up a lot because the poverty has increased an enormous amount, especially among mothers. So women are going into prostitution to feed themselves and their families and are being criminalised, getting a criminal record, being trapped in prostitution, possibly for the rest of their life, because once you have a conviction for prostitution, it's almost impossible to get another job. And that's what we're really... And meanwhile, the rape and violence against sex workers is also increasing because in this climate of a heavy police crackdown on prostitution, nobody wants to come forward and report violence. And in some cases, when women do come to report violence, the police ignore the attacker and arrest the woman herself for prostitution. That's happened in a number of cases that we've heard about. We even know of a woman in our network who went with a young woman to the police because she was concerned about her situation. She was concerned that she was being exploited. Mm -hmm. And when she got there, the police ignored that situation and arrested the woman for brothel keeping. So it's really a serious crisis and we think it's a crisis that women in particular should be concerned about. But anybody that's concerned about people's rights and 
and women's safety. And what we found is that instead of getting support from the prominent feminists and the women's movement in this country, we, they have joined with the police in crackdowns against us in crackdowns against us as sex workers, bringing in legislation that increased criminalization, bringing in legislation that have made these very closure orders that we're fighting today easier for the police to get. So, uh, who are those women? They are British citizens or the immigrants? Or... It's a mix. a mix. In London, uh, there's quite a high proportion of immigrant women. But one of our objections is that immigrant women are automatically assumed to be victims of trafficking. And we don't agree with that. You know, there's a difference between being a victim and being an immigrant woman who comes to this country to work in the sex industry to get a better standard of living for yourself and your family. Many women are supporting families and communities back home. They have chosen to work in this way. It's not that people think it's a great job. It's not a, you know, most of the time it's not a fantastic job, but it's often a better job than the other jobs that are available to us as women and particularly as immigrant women facing racism in this society. The, a lot of the women are Romanian women and the racism against Romanian women in this country is extreme and often going into the sex industry is one of the few areas of employment that you can do. Mm -hmm. Especially with all these talks about the next year when uh, Exactly. Of I know. It's terrible. I know. They really fueled a racist witch hunt against Romanian women. But do they have now, now these women who come here from different, from different countries? So do they have the same rights or not? No, they get, I mean, sex workers generally have very few rights and immigrant women in particular are targeted by police and the police often use the whole anti-trafficking measures to justify raids on premises and what happens when they then raid is that they actually deport immigrant women. So it, they, they particularly use the cover of anti-trafficking to target immigrant women for deportation. Mm -hmm.